fall classic um, weight class preview. So we are going to do this a little bit differently than in the past. Normally we, uh, you know, we, we do like one big video. It lasts really long. So we're breaking this up into shorter videos. Most of them are one weight class per video. This one, we're actually going to do two or 98 and 105 because 98 is a little bit of a smaller weight. So there's a little bit less to talk about, but um, I'm Tony Greathouse and uh, this is JJ Johnson. And we've been doing these videos for a while. And, uh, you know, a couple of years we did podcasts and a couple of years we did videos, but either way, um, it's fun. We get to break down kind of who's at each weight class, but it's a pre-seed. It's not the final seed. It will change. So we try not to get too in too much, too deep into like who's going to wrestle in the quarters and stuff because it's, it's likely going to change, but it gives a really good kind of, uh, you know, idea and talking points. And so anyways, without further ado, JJ, let's dive into 98. So I'm going to read the seeds off and then you can kind of give more intel one seed. And these seeds are on michigangrappler.com. There's an article with the pre-seeds. You can click on it and you can read the whole thing, but 98, one seed, Nathan Wachowiak, Michigan, two seed, Gavin Landers, Iowa, three seed, Hayden Nutt, Michigan, Four seed Mason Catcher, Michigan. Five seed Isaac Kukulski, Michigan. Six seed Chaz Robinson, Illinois. Seven seed Brady Bird, Indiana. And the eight seed is Ryan Totten from Michigan. JJ, what do you got? Um, yeah, so a lot of these guys, uh, eighth graders are incoming freshmen, but they've all done really well on the national scene. So um, like 98 usually is, it's uh, a good opportunity to, to break out and kind of put yourself on at, on the um on the high school scene a little bit um with one the exception of weights. what's that one of my favorite weights yeah you know you're on record because you were a three-year one or three pounder correct the little so guys, you're, you're, you're little a little guy guys come out firing <laughs> <laughs> um, nathan wakowiak from michigan um is returning state placer in d1 um so he kind of gets the nod as the one but um you know landers not Kotcher, kukulski robinson i mean he all the way down to Totten. All those guys are super tough. I think it's going to be, uh, there's only a couple more in the way anyways, right? There's 10 or 11 kids total. Is that right? Yeah. Last, last we checked. Um, so be super interesting. And again, just kind of see where some of those guys, you know, slot in and kind of stay in. Yeah. So you're this year, uh, normally we do predictions. You're, you're not really making predictions and this is a weight class that you're, you're not making a prediction. Is that accurate? Can't remember. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have anyone in this weight. So, okay. I could give one. I could give one. Well, before I make my pick, I would like to note that uh, um, Landers from Iowa. He would be the first Iowa guy to win it. I think since Jack Hathaway. It's been about ten years since an Iowa guy won this tournament. Um, also, ninety eight is is a stepping stone to greatness. It seems like a lot of really good guys started at ninety eight. We've had a lot of notable champs at ninety eight, including. Louis Hayes, NCAA All-American for University of Virginia. Jesse Mendez, who is the number one or two, number two, I think, behind Swiderski recruit in the country last year. He goes to Ohio State now. Carson Manville, big name guy. Um, and then guys that are still in this tournament, like uh, Seth Mendoza, Drew Hitais, um, Antonio Mills, Jacob Brya, who won a, a handful of state titles. Lucas Hall, Foster Carmen, Mikey Mars, a lot of good guys started started their careers at 98 so interested to see who comes out this year but uh my pick is gavin landers from iowa yeah it's, i mean it's a good pick it's someone i've seen um at a bunch of these big national tournaments the past couple of years um immortal athletics is the the club out of iowa ia um really good club so uh, i know they're sending a couple guys hopefully down the road we maybe get a few more um to the tournament but um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough wait for sure. He'd be the fourth Iowa guy to win it. Where are the other ones? Jack Hathaway, 2011. Justin Cothy. Yeah. 2011 also. Also 2011. And then you were right earlier. We talked about this Dayton racer did win it in 2014. That's true. Dayton racer was also from four or five different States though. He was Virginia, Minnesota, Iowa, true. but anyways, um, I mean, on paper, Wachowiak would be the pick, just size probably and uh, experience. Yeah, interested to see a lot of guys here. Hayden, yeah. Dunn, um, I haven't, I don't know that I've seen him wrestle in a while, so see the little guy. So, yeah, it'll be a fun way to watch. Again, ninety-eight. 
I, I love 98 105. Those guys are like fired up to be in like, you know, especially when we get later rounds and the matches are a little bit more spotlighted. You know, they've they haven't had a lot of just because they've wrestled a lot of youth tournaments. So they haven't had a lot of those type opportunities and they seem to really step up and they they get after it. So yeah. Excited to watch that. And 105, which we're going to go into next. Um, so 105, uh, this way similar to 98 that you're getting a lot of younger guys but also um you know you've got guys that are returning here you know that were you know that have a high school kind of resume also and a lot more depth um so i'm going to run through some of them and then i'm going to let you kind of fill in more and kind of get a little more background but uh top seed is aiden dodd from ohio he was third in fargo last year in freestyle two seed carter shahaki from michigan state runner up in division two last year three seed Andrew Punzelin from Florida, state placer, four seed Wyatt Lees from Michigan. He won the uh, cadet uh, 16U folk style nationals last year. Gray Burnett from Ohio. Uh, he's an eighth grader, but he has a, he has a really, really uh, extensive uh, resume. He actually won this tournament elementary division a couple of years ago. Nick Sorrow from Michigan, really uh, accomplished incoming freshman, has a great resume. Uh, then you got some guys with high school experience. Michael Beckett, Wisconsin, returning state qualifier. Logan Muniz from Michigan, state runner-up. Ruben Rivera from Michigan. Brady Baker from Michigan, who are both returning state qualifiers. And David Diarmas from Florida, uh, returning state qualifier. And then there's five or six other really qualified guys in there um, that are also going to be in the mix. Again, you can read the precedes on the website. But, JJ, what do you got about this weight? Yeah, I think this is um... – one of the more intriguing weights of the whole tournament, just because, um, you know, just looking at it, it's, it's a tough one to see. So uh, it's the one I did last and um, there it's going to change for sure. Just because uh, um, some information maybe that I didn't have before that I have now that puts, you know, changes a couple things, but it'll be, it'll be pretty similar. Um, I don't know that there's a whole lot of separation between the top, you know, 12 or 13 guys. Um, it's like you said, a lot of, it's an interesting mix of all the way down to eighth grade, eighth grade, ninth grade. Um, I think even Punzalan's maybe a junior or senior. Um, he's an upperclassman, just had seen him last year at GFC. Um, and again, you know, just kind of where some of these guys start to slot in a little bit. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if any of those guys want it. Uh, like, you know, he said like Burnett, um, even though he's eighth grade, super tough, seen him obviously a bunch. Um, all the way down to like 12 and 13 with, you know, Mason Haynes out of Dundee, who's a, a guy that won the 14U um, folk style nationals last year. DJ Clark's, I've seen him wrestle a bunch. He wrestled Antonio Mills to a, a really tight match last year. Um, so, yeah, I, I just think it's, it's totally wide open. It's a huge opportunity. I, I have no idea, no idea how it's going to shake out. This one's on me to pick, right? It is on you, yeah. I think a Michigan guy is going to win it. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go with. Uh... Hmm. There's a few guys that I'm really looking at. I'm definitely, I'm getting, I'm getting a, like some, something speaking to me. A Michigan guy is going to win this weight. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'm going to go with Carter Shahaki. Okay. He's the most, uh, He's a, he's a, he's a returning. Uh, I like that he's a, he's a, he's not a freshman. Like he's wrestled a high school season, um, and uh, I don't know that any of the other a lot of the other top guys are freshmen. So really like Aiden Dodd looks good. Um, you got him and Burnett, uh, both Perrysburg guys. Burnett's an eighth grader. Dodd's a freshman. But yeah, no, I I think Shahaki being a returning state finalist, having a high school season under his belt, I like that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Shahaki. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I, I think probably from the round of 16 on, this is going to be uh, a wild weight. Yeah, no, there's going to be, it's going to be dynamite. There's going to be some awesome matches. So it's going to be fun to watch. So that uh, wraps up this one, 98-105. Um, you can watch this live on Flow this weekend. Wrestling starts 9 a.m. Um, on Saturday. It will wrestle through the quarterfinals on Saturday for the Elite Division. So the quarterfinals will be roughly like four or five o'clock and then uh, Saturday morning semifinal or excuse me, Sunday morning semifinals, 9 a.m. Finals at 1 p.m. And again, you can watch it live if you're not there. There's going to be some some awesome wrestling. We got 
wrestlers from all over the country, 27 or 28 states, um, and every weight class is just chock full of hammers. So it's going to be fun to watch and uh, make sure you tune in.